Hi, um, long time no see. I came back <laughs> uh, because a friend of mine brought me a beer that I absolutely had to do a review of. So this is from EJ Fair. It's actually a collaboration, it looks like, from Hop Dogma and EJ Fair. Um, it's called Spooky Things, and as you can see, it's a uh, Stranger Things logo style. This is an Imperial Stout, and let's see if we can read this tiny dark writing. When things go bump in the night, and the strange is the only explanation, we must turn to our group of heroes on their quest. Behind the fence and through the world of shadows, they fought the Demogorgon with Ego and Waffle. Dark as night, the creature was vanquished. Is this the end of all spooky doings? Nay, it is just the beginning. So, why are they referencing spooky things? Well, because this has waffles in it. Um, you know, logically, right? Um, so this is a uh, an imperial stout. We're bringing in at ten percent alcohol by volume um, that has waffles in it. Let me verify that waffle thing because it doesn't even say that on here, and I'm pretty sure that the world would like to know. Um, okay, there. Spooky things. Spooky things. Spooky things. Um. Uh, 10% Imperial Stout made with Ego waffles based on the Stranger Things stuff. So, of course, so, um, something that has waffles in it, uh, of course I've made myself some Ego waffles, um, you know, because it seems like a good pairing. Um, so let's take a look at this. Um, EJ Fair is, um, dang it. EJ Fair is in Concord. Actually, I guess they have a restaurant and in Concord restaurant and tap room, but they, I think they grew out of their Pittsburgh location. Um, and then I don't really know anything about um, Hop Dogma, to tell you the truth. So I guess that's a thing I should learn. Oops. Um, also in Pittsburgh, California, makes sense. Um, so, um, and they have a tap room in El Granada. Um, so there you have it. Um, ah, crap. <laughs> I'm just going to spill this everywhere, apparently. So the bottom says he likes it cold. Um, and this was brewed on 12 8 17, or canned on 12 8 17. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the canning date. Um, oh my goodness, I have sprayed beer everywhere, you guys. Um, because, um, my friend got it after that date I'm pretty sure and was like hey I found waffle beer and I'm like I need waffle beer and she was kind enough to bring it to me so let's take a look at this beer um pours nice and heady looks like this head's actually gonna stick around a little bit not very bubbly Whew. really really strong alcohol smell um in this I bet that if it one were a little bit warmer and two um has a minute to kind of breathe, that might be helpful. Otherwise, I mostly get alcohol out of this. I get a little bit of that grape juice aroma. Um, I had somebody who was like, what the fuck are you talking about, grape juice aroma? Um, and, you know, I don't know. Go back and watch all my videos, and it makes more sense. But um, some of these um, mostly um, lagers, like a Hell's Bock, um, Hell's Lager, always smell like grape juice to me that I used to drink on Fridays at the Jewish Community Center where I went to daycare. So anyway, it's a it's a memory association, probably not an accurate description of the smell. Um, so anyway, I just get grapey juice sweetness out of this and a lot of alcohol. Um, I can't and I can't smell any uh, stoutiness through that, so we'll just have to give it a taste. It looks like also that it's going to be nice and um, lacy as it as I drink it down. Um, I've been swirling it around trying to get some aroma out of here. All right, anyway, on to the important stuff. Let's have a drink.
Okay. Well, I mean, it's definitely an imperial stout. So it has that kind of coffee, French roast flavor to it. Um, really, really, really strong, acrid um, French roast flavor to it. Um, low carbonation, low to no carbonation, just like a little tiny sparkle. Um, not as alcoholy of a flavor as the aroma suggests. I don't taste any waffles. Um, so I guess the only correct thing to do now is to um, pair it with some waffles. Let's see if I can get these waffles into the picture here. I made a mess of everything today. I think my bird is making tiny delicate sad noises because he's not in this video with me. Okay. Um, Pairs pretty nicely with a waffle. Um, now I get some waffle waffliness out of it. Um, this is a solid imperial stout. You know, coming in at 10%, we expect either alcohol burn or flavor or aroma. So we're getting that. Um, and uh, it is delicious. I haven't had an imperial stout in a while. So, um, you know, that's always good. Um, good beer. Not waffly. That's my only argument against it. I was like, what What does a waffle beer taste like? But as an imperial stout, I feel like it smacks down any waffle flavors that might be coming through. So Hop Dogma Brewing Company and uh, in collab with EJ Fair Brewing Company, both in Pittsburgh, California. Um, spooky Doings Imperial Stout. Did I say spooky things earlier? Anyway, whatever. Spooky Doings Imperial Stout ringing in at 10%. Um, definitely drinkable. Um, but not very waffly is my conclusion. So better paired with some bagel waffles. Um, if this is a beer that you've had, share with me. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. And thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.